Welcome to the first video of Section 2 of Rapid Flask. In the last section, we built a basic Flask Hello World app. Upon completing this video, we will have extended this app. We will use Python to fetch and process weather data from the Open Weather API, and use Flask to send this data to the client, formatted as HTML. In addition to the Flask functionality, we will be using the standard Python modules URLLib2 to make the web requests, and Time to format the dates of the weather forecast. Note that the URLLib2 module has changed in Python 3. We will also be getting the data in JSON, which is a very similar format to that used by the Python dictionaries, and using some HTML. For the tutorial, we'll be focusing on Flask functionality, so if you want to find out more about URLLib2, Time, or JSON modules, about the JSON data format, or about HTML, have a look at these web pages. As a first step, we'll display a 10 day forecast for London, which shows the date, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, and a basic description, such as cloudy. Let's take a look at how to do this. We can see that the app is very similar to the Hello World app we coded earlier. We have added a getWeather function, which makes a web request to the Open Weather API based on a city name. Open Weather already has a flexible search engine built in, which we'll use later to customize the choice of city. For now, we'll just be displaying the weather data for London, and simply using the keyword London as our query, we'll return weather data for London, United Kingdom. The API returns the data in JSON, and it looks like this. There's quite a bit of data here, and we won't be displaying it all to the client, so we'll pass the JSON into a Python dictionary and display only selected fields, such as the min and max temperature. We'll edit our main index function, so that it gets the weather data for London, and runs the Python JSON load s function on this, which reads and parses the JSON string and converts this into a Python dictionary, from which we can easily extract the data we need. Now we need to create some HTML in order to display the data to our client. We'll start by building some basic HTML tags into a string, including the opening HTML, head, and body tags. We'll then append a heading tag and insert the city and country name in here. Although the app only shows weather for London at the moment, this won't always be the case, so we'll keep these names dynamic. Then we'll loop through the rest of our data extracting the information we want. Notice that the JSON provided already contains a list of days, so it's easy to loop through them using the standard Python for loop. We can insert HTML tags into the string wherever we want. So here we've introduced bold tags around the labels for date, min, max, and description. Once we've done looping, we'll close the HTML tags we opened at the beginning body, and then HTML. Finally, we return the HTML to the client's browser. In Flask, we can return this simply by returning the string we built up from the, within the function that caught the URL root. We now have a very basic weather web app up and running, but building up HTML piece by piece using Python strings, as we have done in this example, is messy and inefficient. In the next video, we'll look at how to use Ginger templates to separate our logic and view components. See you then!